In this podcast, we're going to learn how fluid and electrolytes are balanced within the body and how they are interdependent on one another. And we're also going to talk about some of the most important ions found in the body. All right, so let's talk about fluids and electrolytes. They are interdependent in the body. If you were to increase your fluid input, you're going to have to adjust, your body will have to adjust the concentration of the ions that are dissolved in those fluids. If your body needs more fluids, you're going to start to feel thirsty because water intake is regulated by thirst. All right, so your fluid balance is also maintained by variations in your urine output, meaning if you were to drink a bunch of water, have a higher input, you're going to have a bigger urine output. Um, typical, on average, input equals output at 2,500 milliliters per day. If you're going into a career like teaching and nursing, you may try to decrease your fluid input so that you can decrease your urine output, meaning you spend less time in the bathroom because you're working in a crazy busy career. Don't do that. It's not good for you. Uh, homeostasis is a process of maintaining the levels of nutrient in the blood as well as temperature. Um, this is the process that kind of creates that Goldilocks zone for us in our body, maintaining those perfect fluid and electrolyte balances for one another. All right, so let's talk about some of the ions uh, that we've been talking about balancing. Kidneys will regulate the amount of sodium and potassium, and they regulate the balance between these by excreting excess ions. So if one uh, electrolyte or ion gets too high, uh, your kidneys will wind up taking care of that and maintaining that balance. However, if you remember back to the first semester of this class when we looked at our IV bags and solutions, we talked about the total number of positively charged ions equaling the total number of negatively charged ions. So they have to be equal to one another to keep it neutral. Calcium is another ion that's very important in the body. It's important in bones and teeth, and it is dependent on vitamin D. It also operates in the nervous system and activates enzymes, so it is responsible for muscle contractions as well. The overuse of laxatives will cause depletion of calcium, uh, which can weaken bones and teeth. And it should be noted that overuse of laxatives um, will cause a depletion of many of those ions, not just calcium, because you are moving things through the small intestine and the large intestine so quickly that things like calcium, which are passively reabsorbed, don't have enough time to be reabsorbed by the body. So um, you're not able to get that calcium back into the body before everything exits quickly. Magnesium is our next ion. Um, if you had too low of magnesium, this will lead to muscle weakness or cramps. And too high of magnesium can lead to cardiac arrest. So that's something also, um, one of the ingredients of a laxative. You have to be really careful of not to overdo it on laxatives also because it can lead to a lot of different side effects as well as magnesium is important in the nervous system.